Hello everybody, Convert with Moss 6.0 is out and if you have never heard about this tool, it's a totally free and open source software which allows you to convert between different multi-sample formats like Bitwig Studio multi-sample, Decent Sampler, some Quark formats, the free SFZ and as well as SoundFont. And now in version 6, we get some new features and the most notably one is that we can now read contact NKI files. When I started this tool, I only wanted to support open and free formats, at least documented ones. But contact is something as an industry standard and everybody wants to deal with this format. Sadly, it's a proprietary format and there is no documentation available. But meanwhile, there is quite some info from people on the internet who looked into that and tried to find out how this format works. And at least the older versions are quite good understood by now. Now. Thanks to Philip Stoltz who uh, kindly contributed some source code for that, how to read such files. We have now a first implementation in Convert with Moss, which allows to use NKI files as a source format. But we will talk about the details later. First, I want to show a little feature which also Philip introduced and contributed. It's now the option to rename the output files. For example, if you regularly convert the similar set of files and you have some ideas how you want to rename that. You don't have to do it all the time. You can create such a CSV file, which simply has this mapping. And here's a little example. So CSV stands for comma separate values or you can instead use the micolon and the left side simply contains a source name and the right side contains how you want to rename it. For example, if you have a source file, o one blah, 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 dot NKI, for example, and you want to have it as an output, mypiano.sfz, you can put it in here in a, such a list. I also tested with some umlauts here, for example, so non-ASCII characters, and this does also work nice if you store the file in a UTF-8 encoding. So let's now switch over to the new contact format, the support for the NKI files. And also I need to mention there is a manual. I even put it in big red nice letters here. Read the manual first and especially if you're a Mac user because there are some hoops to jump through. And if you read this manual, there is also a section about the contact format. And yeah, Native Instruments was quite creative in coming up with new formats. So there was the first initial contact one format, which is support. I'm not sure if monolith files were even there a thing, so they are not supported because I don't have any example files. If there are, or if someone can clarify if there were, I would be interested in that. And if you have some example files, if they exist, you could send them to me and I could look into them as well. What's basically supported is contact version 2 up to 4.1 and some minor versions as well. They are supported and also the monolith files are supported as well. After that, there is, oh, it seems I missed it in the list. There is this magic format in, introduced in 4.2.2, so even in a very minor version, there was a big change. This is not understood so far and also not supported. I need to add that into that. And also the new formats are also not supported yet. But nevertheless, this gives you the ability to access your old files. Like I can finally convert my old NKI files and don't have to use the wave detection instead. But there is also some research from some people who look into these newer formats as well. So there is some hope that there is also some understanding there and it might be added in the future. Let's have a look how this works. If you run convert with Moss, you see the different options you have here as a source format to select them one. And here is now the contact and key format as well. And you can choose to which formats you like to convert it. For example, let's go here with SFZ. There are the same options which you have also in some other ones. You can improve the name detection. If the name is not very good for detection, you can say, please check the folder name uh, instead. But it's not so critical here with the NKI format because it contains lots of metadata and this will be already applied. So this is not such an essential function here with this format. And if there is no creator, you can also set a default creator, which you'd like like to insert and you can also give some tags which are searched here in a name or in a path to apply as well. I described this in an earlier video so have a look at that how these features work in detail. 
So I have some test versions here. So let's have a look how this works. And I collected some different version and let's have a, a go with that and run that. And what you will see is I have here some contact one files. They convert nicely and it will also tell you which version got detected for your source file. Also contact two format works nicely. Also here in this monolith format, and it will also tell you the detailed version of the contact version. Another monolith here, we have a version 4 file, which was also still created with the old format. So this also works nicely. Also 4.11 file still working. And then there was this format change, which I so far have no idea about it, will not work. And also the later 5.6.7 formats are detected, but also still not supported. If you feel very bored and also want to join it, I have now a GitHub repository where I started to document all the details I am aware of. And there are lots of holes, as you see here, to do, to do, to do. Do. And if you have some idea about these, especially I would be interested how the checksum works in version 2. So we could also write files, which would be a really nice thing to have. Please just here create an issue or create a contribution if you already have the solution. This would be very helpful. And all the links I showed you in the video are down in the comments. And if you have comments or tell me what you think about it, what you do with it also, feel free to put it down in the comments. So that's it for version six. I hope you like, enjoy it, dig it. And if you converted all your files, don't forget to make some funky music.